Speaking of Facebook, the ability for the platform to scale to handle unbelievably massive amounts of data owes a debt to Moore's Law. With 800 million people around the world uploading text, images, videos for free, the amount of server space required becomes mind-boggling. But how does the technology infrastructure keep pace with Facebook's growth? Or to expand out, why does the digital space change so fast? In 1965, the co-founder of Intel, Gordon Moore, wrote a paper that stated the number of components in integrated circuits had doubled every year from the invention of the integrated circuit. Later, Moore revised his law to say that the number of transistors on a chip would double every two years, which has held pretty much true. Although some argue it has become a self-fulfilling prophecy for the semiconductor industry. This somewhat obscure law has governed much of technology's growth in the 20th and 21st centuries and ruled Silicon Valley. It means computers get smaller, faster and yet hold more data. Consumers get two remarkable benefits. Their technology gets faster and it costs less money. This video from Team Explified is going to break down and simplify Moore's Law for you. Moore's Law in effect means that power doubles and costs are cut in half every two years. It's why we can fit thousands of songs in our pocket or have real-time navigation in our cars through GPS or stream videos on our televisions and laptops. Most importantly, it means that technology innovation will not slow down but instead continue to speed up. Once you start to grasp the implications of Moore's Law, you quickly see that the coming years will continue to bring unprecedented change. Technology gets better and cheaper over time, an unnatural benefit that rarely occurs in traditional economic models. Moore's Law builds the foundations for incredible innovation and disruption. When technology can grow at such a rate, the applications of such technology are no longer limited by infrastructure but rather by creativity. Google gives away many of its offerings for free, in part by being able to exploit Moore's Law. The company can continually store more data for cheaper and deliver it faster to its users. As a user, we have free email, powerful search engine, Google Earth, and real-time maps on our phone. All this has taken just a few years, not decades, to develop. Such incredible change and innovation does not come without casualties, though. Witness the media industry completely caught off guard with the rapid shift to online consumption. Craigslist allows anyone to sell products or services online for free, completely replacing classified ads and crippling the newspaper industry almost overnight. And where consumers go, so goes advertising. We'll return to this in the research part of the text. Although proven correct for the past five decades, the winning streak of Moore's Law could finally be hitting a plateau. According to a recent report from the International Technology Roadmap for Semiconductors, ITRS, which includes chip giants such as Intel itself alongside Samsung, transistors could get to a point where they could shrink no further by as soon as 2021. The companies argue that, by that time, it will be no longer economically viable to make them smaller, finally putting an end to Moore's Law. This means that while they could physically be made smaller, in theory, they will reach what the ITRS call their economic minimum, meaning doing so will only make the costs prohibitive. This isn't the first time that Moore's Law theory has been doubted. Last year, Intel's own CEO, Brian Krasenich, announced that the firm's shift from one transistor size to another is stretching from two to two and a half years. Krasenich questioned this during an Intel earnings call, saying manufacturing processes haven't advanced at the same rate as in the past. However, the ITRS believes this does not mean the end of the concept behind the law, as manufacturers find increasingly innovative ways to squeeze more switches into a given space. Take 3D NAND, for example, the idea of stacking sets of transistors on top of each other to create 3D processors. While the conventional thinking is that the law's demise would be bad news, it could have its benefits, namely fueling the rise of AI. 
If you care about the development of artificial intelligence, you should pray for that prediction to be true. John Smart, a prominent futurist and writer, mentioned to a leading magazine, Moore's law ending allows us to jump from artificial machine intelligence, a top-down human-engineered approach, to natural machine intelligence, one that is bottom-up and self-improving. As AIs no longer emerge from explicitly programmed designs, engineers are focused on building self-evolving systems like deep learning, an AI technique modeled from biological systems. And this development will surpass the ever-growing demand making transistors as small as possible and try to bring more out of cloud-based AI systems. Do mention in the comment section if you want us to review or explain any interesting topic and we will surely work upon your suggestions. That's all for this video. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified.